All right, guys, I'm going to attempt to show you how to make a picture in picture, such as something like this. If you want to uh, put a you know a picture of you in a shape like this, I'm going to show you how to how to how to accomplish that. Basically, what you want to do, we'll get rid of that. Just go down here to your plus, pull up a, just your main title, bring it over. I like to shorten this up since you're using it as kind of as a thumbnail or a picture or something, and just double click on on your on your project there. Go in and tap on it and delete it, and then tap on it again, and then your text shape and image comes up. Go to your shape. And then pick whatever shape that you want. If uh, you know you want the ten point star, and just kind of move it over there. Bring your shape up. Bring your star up. Make the star green, and just move it over here out of the way. Now go in and get you another shape. Go back to your shape screen. Make you a rectangle. Go in and make it purple. We'll say, and then just uh, expand it out. Fill your screen out with it. Just be sure you get your screen completely cleaned out with it. And then basically you'll go over here to your three dots and switch this to where it brings your shape that you want, Your if it's a circle or if it's a, if it's a circle or if it's the 10 point star or whatever. Click back on the uh, the ten point star, and then move it to about where you think you want it in your picture. Then go back and take the picture that you want to take and put inside of this uh, shape, which is this here. And I bring it down and put it beside it, and then pull this. Click on this and pull it up. That way you've got it in behind it, and then of course make them the same. And then you just go back into the shape. Go over to your color and effects. Go to your keyhole settings. And then green, green key ski. Green screen key, I'm sorry. And then you've got your picture cut out, basically. Now what you want to do is you want to go in, go back. And you can adjust this if you need to by going back into your, to your uh, screen. Like if you want to go, you can go back into your shapes if you want, if you need to move this. A little bit to make it work on your picture or whatever what you could do if you can't really tell where it's at you can uh, take the opacity down on that and just move this be sure you click back on the other one and you can move this down to where you think you might want it to capture the part of the picture that you want you could actually take the You know, take it down like that to where you can tell exactly what all you want to get in the picture. And then just bring them back up. Go back to both of them and bring them, bring them back up. And then basically, just uh, go back out of that. What you want to do is you want to save this as a snapshot. And then you can go in and get rid of both of these. And then just go back in and pull this back up. Put it back down into your project. And then whatever that you want to put this onto, uh, I'll just use a blank uh, main title. That's what I'll use. Uh, I'll go in and make it white so that it'll show up. But whatever you want to put that on, like like uh, I was putting it, putting it on this, but whatever you want to put it on, you can... Uh, I'll just go back in and make make this shape into a, just a white box, just a blank white white canvas, however you want to say it. And then just go back into here. And put your uh, you can get these back even make them all even go back into here 
And basically what you want to do now is just uh, double click on your top one, go back into your color and effects, go to your keyhole. You can push this blue screen key in, go to this eyedropper, and it'll come up there and just push on that eyedropper. And that'll get rid of that purple screen. And now you've got your picture in your picture however you want it there. You can put it right on your right on your deal. And that's basically how you do it. It's pretty simple. Um, and you can make, you know, if you want to make a project like I did. I was trying to, what I was trying to make here was a business card uh, for my YouTube channel was what I was trying to make. And uh, hopefully this will teach you how to figure this out. It's not very hard, but it's kind of hard to figure it out if you don't know. So everybody have a great day. Thanks.